All right, guys, so I had some time today and I went ahead and um, so this is a Fortec 2.0 and this is the, I mean, 3.0 and this is the 2.0. I went ahead and took the um, Corrali foam ties off of there and put it onto here. So basically all you need to do, so for the front, it pretty much, you just have to remove the um, front caliper for the fronts and it will mount on there. For the rear, you remove the rear caliper and the disc and this is what I use for the 2.0. It's a little wider hub. I believe I got it off of like the slash on my parts for like slash something like that. And it's added three washers right here at the end. And then the wheel fit right on there. The only problem is, well, I won't say problem. These, well, these wheels are smaller than the stock wheels that comes in the uh, Fortec 3.0. So definitely the speed will be calculated um, slower because the smaller diameter wheels and it looks a little weird in the wheel well with the car it's because it was a little too small but I just did it for more so running purposes to see how a car handles and I'm gonna tell you it handles really well I'm liking the 3.0 over my 2.0 based on just how it ran I mean it might be too soon to tell but just my initial impression I definitely like it better especially the longer wheelbase it seems so much stable and with the stock body it it handled it pretty well um, so, I mean, we'll see as I keep, you know, testing and pushing this car a little bit, but, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you the video real quick of me running this car. All right. Man, I came out here to try to get a quick run. The rain's starting to come down, so I'm trying to rush this video. I put some quick foam tires on here for my Fortec 2.0. Uh, start the GNS real quick, guys. Um, track, start. Man, the rain's coming. Uh-oh. Try to get a quick pass, guys. Get a quick pass on it. Man, the rain is coming down. Probably one quick pass, guys. The car was pulling a little bit, so I was trying to fight it. I'll do one more. One more, guys. I'll tell you guys, she handles a lot better, well, with these tires, I just kind of retrofit on here, than the 2.1. I'm gonna, I mean, just right now with this first run, granted tires are not ideal tires I'm gonna put on here, but they are foam tires. And I'm gonna tell you, it's a lot better than the 2.1, I mean the 2.0, the Ford 2.0. Sorry, I'm rushing the video, guys. Let me see what she did. Stop, read, 61 miles an hour. Again, the tires are a lot smaller than the um, tire that comes with it. And also, um, it's geared real low. It's not even anything geared up high. So, like I said, just my initial quick little build just to make it a little faster than what it was out the box. Um, I'm gonna do a quick drag hit while I'm here. 132 feet, ready. Hope the camera's catching everything. Go. Pulls pretty straight. Not a bad car, guys. Not a bad car. Let's see. Read 2.5 at 58. That was 2.5 at 58. Again, nothing crazy. We'll do another one. Drag. Ready. Another hit, real quick. Ready, set, go. It's hopping a bit, but man, pretty good, man. I said I have, um, I have plans for some tires. It's just a quick setup so I can run the car. Let's do it. Try it again. Read 2.51 at 57. All right. Hope you guys saw that. Screenshot everything. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching a quick vid. Catch you guys on the next one.